What's up guys, Alex here and this is a quick strategy video so I'm going to be taking you through five picks on prize picks but kind of the first thing you need to realize about prize picks that makes this platform very exploitable is they don't vary payouts, right? Depending on if you select over or under. So any two leg parlay, any two pick power play that you put together, right? You're going to notice your payout doesn't change. It's always 20 to win 60. It doesn't matter if we switch picks, still 20 to win 60, right? So you're getting a 3x payout for two pick power plays. So we've gone through the math before and for two pick power plays, what that means is you're getting the implied odds of minus 137. So basically on any play on prize picks, if you're playing two pick power plays, you're getting minus 137 odds. You're getting minus 137 juice. Now, for five pick flexes, it's a bit different, right? So you have to go through the math for five pick flexes. So you, what you're gonna notice for a five pick flex is this is their payout, right? You go five for five, you get a 10X, you go four for five, you get a 2X payout, three for five, you get a 0.4X payout. Doesn't matter if you take overs, unders, what picks you select. Once again, this is never gonna change. You go five for five, you're getting a 10X payout. I cut out there for a sec, but for five flexes, the implied odds that you're getting is roughly minus 119.6. So two pick power plays are horrible. Never play them on prize picks. You're literally getting minus 137 juice, basically double what you're getting in a five flex, which is just minus 119. Minus 119 versus minus 137, big difference. You wanna go with five pick flexes. But again, what you're going to notice, going back to this example, is prize picks, they're not going to change your payout, depending on if you take Tyler Johnson over or under. You're always getting minus 119, right? You take his over in shots on goal, you take his under in shots on goal, you're getting minus 119 implied odds on prize picks. So this is what's so crazy about this play, which has a 15% profit margin, is all of the sports books are juicing this around minus 200. So this odds jam column, we just copy Pinnacle's odds. So this is the always going to be the same as Pinnacle odds. Pinnacle is known to be the sharpest sports book in the world. And you can see they're pricing Tyler Johnson under two and a half shots on goal at minus 208. We're getting minus 119. We're basically getting 90 cents better than Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, is offering you. So bet online, minus 200. Also a two to one favorite. Bet 365, two to one favorite. FanDuel, two to one favorite. So if you think about it, minus 200, right? Two to one favorite means a bet is hitting about two thirds of the time, 66.7% of the time, right? If you go over to this little math sheet we ended up doing, in a five pick flex, you only need to win 54.25% of your plays to break even right? This is where your ROI is basically flat, right? So if we want to get an exact number, it's like, you know, minus 118.6, 54.26% is basically your break-even win rate. So if you're winning 54.25% of your picks in a five flex, you're going to break even long-term on prize picks. Now, if you're winning them 67% of the time, your ROI on prize picks would be 114.6%. How crazy is that? So here, the profit margin of this one play is 15%. Of course, not all your plays are gonna be this big of discrepancies. Literally every book is pricing this around minus 200. We're getting it at frickin' minus 119. 80 cents of improvement, absolutely insane value on this play, right? And if you think about it, it makes sense. Sports books are telling us, yo, this is two to one to occur. This should be minus 200. The under is two to one to occur. The over is only gonna occur a third of the time. And on prize picks, it doesn't matter if we take overs or unders, our payout doesn't change. And sports books are telling us, yo, the under is heavily, heavily, heavily favored to minus 200. So getting minus 119 and a five flex is just absolutely insane. And of course, the ROI of all five of our picks is not gonna be, you know, 15%. So this you know little spreadsheet it assumes this is the win probability for each of your bets but of course most of our bets are going to be hitting on prize picks maybe 56 percent of the time which it leads to an roi of about 12 percent 
So what we can do is we can go back to Odds Jam, and this is the first play I went with. Super high profit margin, 15.07%. I mean, plays like this are the reason I wake up, right? Like absolutely ridiculous play. So you can see then we have a huge drop, but we need five picks, right? We're not creating a two pick power play. Five picks are so much more advantageous. So the next play we're on is Brad Marchan over two and a half shots on goal. Once again, I'm just following the data. All books are pricing the over in this case, you know, pinnacle, sharpest bookmaker around minus 144. So here the over is heavily favored. We're getting minus 119 on prize picks. That's a steal deal. We want to take the over on prize picks, right? So we take the over on prize picks. We take the under um, for Tyler Johnson. And then I had some other plays kind of from the odds jam screen. I love this screen. So we can go over to my flex play. I'll just show you guys what I ended up going with. Tyler Johnson under two and a half shots on goal. Brad over two and a half. LaMelo Ball under 10 and a half assists doesn't matter what sport i mean a lot of people and granted very low profit margin but we need five picks so it's fine right if that if we're taking a play at 15 percent profit margin right bet and bold and green another play at around 0.1 percent it averages out to maybe you know another play at one percent our plays are averaging out to have like three percent edge you know so our combined roi will probably be something like that 16 percent we showed earlier if we're winning our plays on average 56 percent of the time so let's go back here. You may be like, okay, so three of these plays came from the EV tool, Alex. That's pretty cool. What about the other two? Well, go here. You go to player rebounds. Hey, Caleb Mills, his line on prize picks is three. On all the books, it's three and a half. Massive discrepancy, three, three and a half, three, three and a half. Prize picks is too low. We have four data points right here, all telling us, yo, this line should be set at three and a half for Caleb Mills. We're getting prize picks at three. Hammer the over, hammer the over. That is a line discrepancy, a market inefficiency that you want to take advantage of as a sharp better, over three. And I know we're talking a lot about prize picks, but right, this applies to underdog, this applies to DraftKings, it applies to any book you're betting on. So let's make some freaking money today.